Now let us see the various preparation methods like you know, for alcohols. The first one is by hydration of alkenes. So we take an alkene okay, and add water. So in case we take a symmetrical alkene like this that is ethene. So it is basically the addition of water molecule. So H and OH will get added across a double bond. So we will get CH3, CH2, OH. Okay. So hydration is always like you know catalyzed by acid. Okay. Now if we take an unsymmetrical alkene like this, okay, so this will follow the Markovnikov's rule okay, and the OH will get attached to the carbon having less number of hydrogen. So the product would be CH3, CH, OH, CH3. So this is a primary alcohol and this is a secondary alcohol. Now let us see the mechanism of hydration of alkenes. So this will follow three steps. So let us see the steps. First, let us take this water and H plus. So, H2O plus H plus will give you H3O plus. Okay. Now, this one will get added across the double bond of the alkene. So, let us see the second step. CH2 double bond CH2. So, basically here protonation of the alkene will take place plus let us write it like this H. H plus. Okay. Now, if we like you know take this let the double bond electron get shifted here. So, this will become minus and this will become plus. Okay. Now, this one will get attached to this. Okay. So, only the proton will get attached first. So, now this water molecule this one will go out okay, as water. This electron will move into this oxygen and H plus will be released. This H plus will attack this CH2. So, we will get CH2 plus double bond, okay. So, so not double bond, single bond, CH3 plus H2O. So, we can see here a carbocation is formed, okay. In the next step, what will happen? There will be a nucleophilic attack of the water molecule onto this carbocation. So, let me write this carbocation again CH3, CH2 plus, okay plus the nucleophilic attack of water. So, we know there are two lone pairs of electron on oxygen. So, this will get attached to this. So, we will get CH3, CH2, OH, H. H. Now, it is donated the lone pair of electron to form the bond. So, this will carry a positive charge. Now, in the last step, Okay. So, the deprotonation of this hydrogen will take place on from the alcohol. So, this H plus let me write it again that is CH3, CH2. Okay. So, let us consider this hydrogen is coming out as H plus and this elect bond electron is moving here. So, we will get CH3, CH2, OH plus H plus. So, the catalyst what we use as acid has come out in the last step. We have another method that is the indirect method for the addition of water across alkenes. Okay. So, here what we do is like you know instead of water and H plus first the sulfuric acid molecule will get added to the alkene. Let us see an example. I have taken ethene and sulfuric acid. The first step would be because this is symmetrical alkene. So, let us take this as minus and this is plus. So, H plus and O minus. So, this would be H will get added here. So, this would be CH3 and single bond CH2 O SO2 OH. Okay. The next step would be the addition of water HOH followed by heating. Again, this part will take the H plus and come out as sulfuric acid H2SO4. Okay, OH will get added here. So, we get ethanol as a major product. So, we can see this is a primary alcohol. Let us see another example and you know this would be a unsymmetrical alkene addition of sulfuric acid. So, this would be, so this would be like you know plus, this would be minus like this. Again, plus minus. So, this would be CH3, 
CH, the negative part will always get added to the carbon having less number of hydrogen atoms. So, we know as per Markovnikov's rule. So, the CH it will be OSO2 OH and H plus will get added here. This would be CH3. This followed by hydrolysis H2O and heat it. Okay. We will get CH3, CH, CH3 here. So, H plus will go and take this O and OH will get added here, OH plus H2SO4. So, the primary alcohol we can uh, get only like you know only ethanol, no other primary alcohol can be prepared by this method because we have to follow the Markovnikov's rule. So, the next method for the preparation of alcohol is oxymercuration demercuration. Here we take an alkene, okay, react it with mercuric acetate and water. Okay. First let us see like you know, how this gets added. So, now if we like you know uh, convert this into plus and minus, let us take this double bond electron goes here. So, this will be minus, this will be plus. So, we will get here CH3, CH single bond CH2. Now, to this minus 1 HgOCOCH that is mercuric acetate 1 will get added that is HgOCOCH3 okay? and from this H2O the OH minus will get connected here. So, this will become OH here. So, 1 uh, like you know so now this one okay, followed by like you know reduction using NaBH4. Here when we reduce it using this, this bond, this carbon mercury bond will break okay, you know, and we will get CH3, CHOH okay, you know, and hydrogen will get from the uh, re reducing agent, the hydrogen will get attached here. So, we will get here CH3, a secondary alcohol. So, like this even a primary alcohol can also be prepared. Like you know, comparing this with the previous hydration of like you know alkenes, so this one is a better method because we get a better yield of the alcohol here. So the next method for the preparation is called the hydroboration oxidation of alkenes. This is a very important method. So here, like you know, borane will get added to an alkene. So we know that borane is B2H6. Okay, but the BH3 part, like you know, will get added to this compound. So, let us see how it gets added. So, now the hydrogen will from BH3 will get added here and the BH2 part will get added to this CH2. So, we will get CH3, CH2 single bond, CH2, BH2, okay, alkyl borane here. Now, again we will add the same alkene like you know one more molecule. So, we will get CH3, CH double bond, CH2. Again here I as I told the H will get added here. So, this will form a di dialkyl borane like this CH2, CH2 twice one hydrogen has been replaced. So, this will become BH. So, this is called dialkyl borane. Now, again to this we will add another molecule of alkene CH3, CH double bond, CH2 that is propene. So, here we will get trialkyl borane that is CH2, CH2 thrice B. So, how many of our hydrogen is there that will be replaced by the alkyl group of this alkene. Now, the last step here like you know we have to add H2O2. OH minus and H2. That is, we will take an alkaline solution of hydrogen peroxide, okay, it, that is aqueous uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide in the alkaline condition. So, we will get the product would be CH3, CH2, CH2, OH, okay. So, here because we have added, so this will become 3 molecules plus we will get boric acid that is B. OH3. 
rice okay so now if we see the fi like you know final product here so the reaction like you know is as per the anti markovnikov's rule because if we see here this alkene the oh is getting actually added here okay so this is as per anti markovnikov's rule this is a very important method for the preparation because like you know the yield is very good here yield is very high and this method is used only for the preparation of primary alcohols.